Let's talk a little bit about how to conduct a literature review and how to start writing this section of the research paper. What exactly is a literature review section? You can think about a literature review as a survey of all of the books, articles, and other sources that are relevant to a particular issue that you're studying. A literature review summarizes an area of research. Literature review also introduces the social theory that's relevant to that topic or to the social process that you're studying. And a literature review provides a description, summary, and a critical evaluation of those different scholarly works as they relate to your research problem. A literature review provides an overview of the different sources that you've explored while you're researching a particular topic. And a literature review demonstrates how your research topic fits within the larger field of sociology. The types of sources that are relevant to include in a literature review include peer-reviewed academic journal articles, academic books, and government reports. Government reports might come from sources like the Bureau of Justice Statistics or the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The types of sources that you want to avoid including in a literature review include news articles, information from Wikipedia, or information collected from social media websites or blogs. Try to avoid including these sources in your literature review. What exactly does a literature review accomplish? First, a literature review indicates the topic or the field that you're examining and its component issues. You can think about a literature review as representing the different aspects of a topic. In a literature review, you find and you describe the scholarly materials that are relevant to your topic, information collected from academic journal articles or academic books. In a literature review, you're also trying to draw connections between similar pieces of work that are relevant to your topic. This is what a good literature review does. It doesn't just review scholarly sources one by one, but rather it's an intellectual exercise that draws connections between those works and describes how they relate to your topic. A literature review also reveals the gaps or limitations in existing research, and it points a way forward for your project to help address those gaps and limitations. I have a few tips for writing your literature review. Try to organize your scholarly content around themes that are related to your topic. So think about developing an outline for your literature review and use subheadings to do this. Your literature review should also be backed up by citations to scholarly sources. These could include academic journal articles and books. But you want to be selective. You really want to highlight the most important uh, points from each source to review. So being selective applies to both what you include from a particular article, as well as which articles you include. So you're going to come across hundreds, if not thousands, of potential academic journal articles to describe. But you want to be very intentional about which of those you choose to include in your literature review. There should be a reasoning and a rationale behind why you're describing this research. And secondly, when you include a description of that research in your literature review, what you want to do is you want to go to the results section. These should be empirical research papers, and you want to find out exactly what the main findings of that research were so you can describe them in your own words. But you want to make sure not to use extensive quotes. This is a, a pet peeve of mine. I, I really think that it's best to describe scholarly content from the research that you identify in your own words. So you want to do what's called paraphrasing. So you want to find what the ideas were that were summarized in that article and describe them in your own words in your literature review. Something else that you'll want to do is synthesize sources. You want to draw connections between the different sources that you identify. 
So you don't want to talk about each source that you identify individually, but rather talk about them together. For instance, if you have two research sources that seem to be making a similar point, you could write a single sentence that cites both of those sources at the end of the sentence, but describes the how that maybe uh, a group of studies have found something similar. Some of the common mistakes that are made when writing a literature review is that you might include sources that don't clearly relate to your topic. Or you might summarize a secondary interpretation of a source. What you want to do is you want to identify the primary sources. If somebody is discussing a piece of research in their literature review and they cite that work and it seems interesting and relevant to your project, go and find that article or book and read it yourself and summarize it yourself. That's what's called finding the primary sources. Also, you want to try to summarize articles with empirical research and theory, so articles that are based on actual data collection and analysis. That's the heart of research. One mistake that people might make when writing a literature review is that they review articles and books one by one rather than drawing connections between them. A literature review is a place to demonstrate a logic and reasoning behind why you're studying a topic. And you want to synthesize sources and draw connections between them. I have a few general writing guidelines that I'd like to share with you about developing a literature review. The first, this is not a, a hard and fast rule, but a recommended length for a literature review might be around 1,200 words or five double-spaced pages. The writing for your literature review should be appropriately supported by references to scholarly work. I recommend including at least 25 citations to academic journal articles and books within the body of your literature review. You want to provide citations to that scholarly work in the body of the text and include a full list of references at the end of that literature review section formatted according to the ASA guidelines. And last, but definitely not least, you want to make sure to proofread your writing using proper grammar and punctuation. And you want to have a writing style that is clear, direct, and formal. Now, to get started on the literature review, develop an outline. Use some reflective free writing to answer the following questions. What topics or areas of research are relevant to my project and to my research question? Are there categories of content that I can organize material within to? Secondly, is there a theoretical framework that helps to inform my project, a, a quote unquote social mechanism? What sociological concepts are important to my topic? And third, does my topic relate to a subfield of sociology? What keywords will I use to search for scholarly sources on Google Scholar or JSTOR? How will I find articles and books using these keywords? This can be a trial and error process. You might have to try different keywords and you might along the way learn some of the academic lingo for referring to various concepts and pieces of your project. And you might tweak your keywords along the way.